Um, but when you're ready to go ahead and publish this content, it's as easy as clicking the publish button in the upper right hand corner. So we can go ahead and click publish. And this is going to, as you see, make it visible to everyone. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead and do that. And we can take a look at the audience uh, settings right afterwards. So we have our site. It's now live. Um, I'll also paste this in the chat here if you want to take a look um, as we go ahead and edit some certain things and see how this works live. Um, and it's and it's live, like I said. We can do a lot more things from here. We can customize it. We can add things like a custom domain and also change the audience from here afterwards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click into this as well to show you where to find this. By default, your site will be published publicly. But if you click that audience settings uh, section, you'll be able to also add things like visitor authentication or update it to share links, which is basically a way you can share a link uh, specifically and have more protected access. Um, so it's not it's it's shareable but not public on the web. You can also choose the index that you want. So this is going to be uh, the option if you want it to be indexed by search en engines and, and basically found when you when you search for it on a search engine. Again, some of these features are pro, uh, but feel free to hop in here and take a look and see what uh, what you need from here. You can always change all these things as well in the settings. If you click the settings in the upper right hand corner, you'll find those audience settings that I've just explored previously, but also find things like the custom domain, uh, editing a, a Gitbook URL, which is really nice if you want to update it to something a little bit more uh, recognizable. Right now it's published under webinarteam.gitbook.io. You can change the slug uh, here at the end simply by going to this section here and adding uh, whatever you'd like. Um, so yeah, if you want to change this to something like webinar test, we can do that very quickly. And then the update will the URL will only be update, uh, available at this URL instead. <clears throat> And there's a lot of customization options, which you're going to hop into uh, soon enough. Also sharing social preview stuff. Um, so if you want, when you share it like on something like Slack or Twitter, and it shows you that preview of the uh, page, you'll find the image that is provided here. The content itself, which we're going to hop into this afterwards as well. And if you want to unpublish it or delete the site, you can find all those options uh, there as well.